Imagine the scariest ways to pass away, like being trapped in a volcanic eruption or melted by flowing lava. People from Pompeii knew that horror too well. That's why it's super important to keep an eye on Earth's volcanoes, so we can watch out and maybe stop a disaster before it happens. We need to act now because volcanic eruptions are happening all around us. In this video, we'll talk about some eruptions expected to occur or get worse in 2024. Stick around till the end to hear about the potentially worst one. Audio jump. Shishaldin, Alaska Let's start with Shishaldin, located in Alaska, a land of breathtaking landscapes renowned for its majestic beauty and unparalleled natural wonders. Here, vast expanses of pristine wilderness stretch as far as the eye can see. Adorned with snow-capped mountains, glaciers, and diverse ecosystems that house unique flora and fauna, the state's striking scenery is a testament to the delicate equilibrium that characterizes this northern frontier. Nestled in the heart of this captivating wilderness is Shishaldin, a volcano that, despite the surrounding beauty, has the potential to disrupt the natural balance. Shishaldin stands as one of the most active volcanoes in the Aleutian Islands, a region collectively known as the Aleutian Arc. This arc consists of 57 volcanoes, forming the northernmost segment of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Despite the awe-inspiring views and diverse wildlife that call this region home, the serene landscapes could be interrupted by the powerful forces beneath the Earth's surface. Shishaldin, with its 9,300-foot snow-capped peak, has been closely monitored by the Alaska Volcano Observatory AVO, due to a recent shift in its eruptive behavior. In the summer of 2023, Shishaldin entered a new phase of eruptive activity, releasing an ash plume that reached between 6 and 7.5 miles into the air. This marked a departure from its typical Strombolian eruptions and occasional lava flows. The last time Shishaldin exhibited such force was in 1999, when it ejected an ash plume reaching approximately 8.5 miles high. Seismic and eruptive events persisted throughout the summer and extended into December, indicating that the eruptive period observed in 2023 is likely to continue well into 2024. The remote location of Shishaldin within the vast Arctic landscape provides a unique challenge for direct observation. While this isolation ensures that immediate human danger is minimized, those within a 10-mile radius could be affected if an eruption occurs. Despite the challenges of monitoring, scientists remain vigilant, relying on various tools including satellite imagery and seismic data to track the volcano's activity. As of today, Shishaldin remains a subject of ongoing study and concern. The potential for further eruptions in the coming months raises questions about the impact on the surrounding environment and nearby communities. The delicate equilibrium that defines Alaska's natural beauty may face disruption from the powerful forces within the Earth, emphasizing the need for continuous monitoring and preparedness. This 3D visualization of Shishaldin Volcano shows the characteristic cone shape associated with stratovolcanoes and also the thermal radiative power of the active eruption. The image was collected by Sentinel-2 on October 3rd, 2023. The eruption of lava within the summit crater of Great Sitkin Volcano continues today. Although cloud cover often obstructs views of the volcano, occasional clear observations reveal slightly elevated surface temperatures. Satellite radar data capable of penetrating clouds indicates ongoing inflation of the lava dome and surface flow to the east as of March 6th. While seismic activity remains relatively low, occasional small volcanic earthquakes contribute to the volcano's active status. The Great Sitkin Volcano, a prominent feature in Alaska's volcanic landscape, serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of the region. Campe Fligre, Italy Let's move to Italy, land of spaghetti. Located in Naples, there is a volcanic complex consisting of multiple craters and calderas, with the most notable being the 8-mile-wide caldera known as the Flegrian Fields or Campe Flegre. This region has a rich volcanic history, originating from two significant eruptions, the Campanian Ignimbrate eruption around 39,000 years ago and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuft eruption approximately 15,000 years ago. The most recent documented eruption in the Campe Flegre area occurred in 1538. Despite some seismic activity observed since the Roman era, the region did not raise significant concerns until recent times. 
In 2023 alone, around 1,000 minor earthquakes were recorded in the vicinity, raising fears of a potential eruption for the first time in nearly 500 years. While seismic activity in the 1980s caused some ground deformation in the nearby town of Pozzuoli, leading to structural damage, experts argue that the lack of severe consequences during that period suggests a low risk. However, the heightened seismic activity in 2023 has reignited concerns. The potential impact of a Campe Flagre eruption would be catastrophic. The release of ash and volcanic gases into the atmosphere could result in air pollution, and earthquakes triggered by the event could cause substantial harm to buildings and infrastructure. Additionally, the presence of sulfur dioxide in the air might contribute to the formation of acid rain. Experts emphasize that the lack of severe consequences in the 1980s doesn't necessarily guarantee the same outcome in the future. While they hope that assessments suggesting a low current risk are accurate, only time will reveal the true nature of the situation. Monitoring efforts continue to assess the volcanic activity in the region, providing essential data for risk assessment and potential mitigation strategies. One thing is certain, the ash cloud produced by this event would be so dense that it will effectively block out the sun, causing a significant drop in temperatures locally and even influencing the global climate. While many of us might view the impact of such choking ash from the safety of a television screen, witnessing such a plume on the horizon would be a nightmare scenario. So what could we possibly do to keep ourselves safe? In the face of a direct impact from a volcanic eruption or exposure to residual ash and soot in the air, having a reliable gas mask and filter combo is crucial for personal safety. Evacuated from an affected area demands adequate preparation, and a well-equipped gas mask ensures that harmful particulates are filtered out, preventing potential harm to respiratory health. In the event of a volcanic emergency, such precautions can be essential for survival. Anak Krakatau, Indonesia Anak Krakatau, situated in Indonesia, has earned its place as one of the world's most renowned and active volcanoes. The term Anak Krakatau translates to Child of Krakatoa, reflecting its origin within the caldera left by the infamous Krakatoa volcano that erupted in 1883. Anak Krakatau has become a focal point of attention due to its persistent eruptive activity making it a subject of both scientific study and public interest. The volcanic island has experienced significant transformation since its emergence in the caldera formed by the Krakatoa eruption. The latest eruptive phase, commencing in May of 2021 and intensifying in June of 2023, saw Anna Krakatau erupting twice within a one-hour span. This event ejected volcanic ash nearly 10,000 feet into the atmosphere, showcasing the dynamic and unpredictable nature of the volcano. Geologists from the Indonesian Center for Volcanology observed heightened explosions in November 2023, raising concerns about the potential for a substantial eruption reminiscent of the catastrophic 1883 event. This eruption had devastating consequences, including powerful earthquakes and massive tsunamis directed toward the Indonesian coast. On Friday, December 15, 2023, at 039 Coordinated Universal Time, a new eruption commenced at Anak Krakatau, the eruption generated an ash column reaching approximately 200 meters above the summit. Seismic activity associated with the event was recorded on seismographs with a maximum amplitude of 47 mm and a duration of about 15 seconds. The Copernicus Sentinel satellites, including Sentinel-2, contribute significantly to the surveillance of volcanoes worldwide. Their ability to capture thermal anomalies and monitor ash and vapor plumes provides valuable data for scientists and authorities aiding in the proactive monitoring of volcanic activity and enhancing our understanding of these dynamic geological processes. The $1 million question is, will they be able to spot the very first volcanic plumes had a catastrophic eruption occurred in 2024? Hey, before moving on, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can improve it for you, the viewer. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by making sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. Eubenus, Southern Peru In July of 2023, the Eubenus volcano in southern Peru woke up and caused some trouble. The Peruvian government had to declare a state of emergency for the area around it. The Geophysics Institute of Peru IGP, said the eruption started around June 22nd with a lot of shaking in the ground. 
They recorded a whopping 402 earthquakes between June 23rd and June 25th. All this shaking led to a big cloud of ash going up almost 1,300 meters or 4,265 feet above the top of the volcano, reminding everyone of how powerful nature can be. Because of the possible dangers, the National Civil Defense Institute told people to be careful. They suggested wearing face masks and covering their eyes to protect against the ash. Plans for leaving the area had to be made, highlighting the need to get ready in case the volcano did something unexpected. To keep an eye on the volcano, scientists used cool technology. They sent drones to watch closely what the volcano was doing. A captivating image captured by this fixed-wing drone on October 7, 2019, reveals gas emissions rising from the summit crater of Eubenus. This cutting-edge approach allows researchers to gather vital data without direct human exposure to the potentially hazardous volcanic environment. Grindavik, Iceland Grindavik, a small town in Iceland, mostly famous for its Blue Lagoon Spa and its fishing industry, had some big trouble in late 2023 and early 2024. It all started when they found a magma river under the ground, and that was a big deal. In November 2023, things got serious. They had to declare a state of emergency because of that magma river under the Raychains Peninsula. Imagine finding out there's hot liquid rock under your town. To keep people safe, they told everyone to leave their homes. It was a tough time for the folks in Grindavik. Then in January of 2024, the volcano erupted. That means it spewed out hot lava and it caused a lot of damage to the town. The eruption was a big event and it changed the way Grindavik looks. Even after that, it's still not safe there all the time because of the volcano. The thing is, Grindavik is in a risky spot. Even after the eruption, there's still a chance things might not settle down. The ground could still move and cracks might appear. So people in Grindavik have to be careful throughout the whole year because of the volcano. Grindavik's story is about facing challenges. Even when they thought they had to deal with a magma river and a volcanic eruption, the people there were strong. They're working hard to make things better, showing that even when nature throws a curveball, communities can come together and rebuild. We got an update from the Iceland Weather Office on March 7, 2024. They said that the shaking from the volcano has been slowing down, and there haven't been many earthquakes in the last few days. But because of bad weather, it's hard to keep an eye on the small shakes, so there might have been some we didn't notice. The weather forecast for the next day says it's going to be tough to watch for earthquakes. They're expecting strong winds and rain in Raychains, especially in the mountains. Rain will ease up in the morning, but there might still be some showers, and it could be hard to see clearly. The wind should calm down by the weekend, blowing from the southeast or northwest on Sunday. Underneath Svartsvingi, where the volcano is, things are still moving. The experts looked at data from March 3rd to 6th and figured out around 1.2 million big truckloads of magma went into the volcano's storage during that time. So, since the last eruption, about 10 million big truckloads of magma are now inside. Right now, it's kind of like it was before the volcano burst out on March 2nd. The weather office made some maps that show how risky it is in places near the volcano. They're trying to keep everyone informed about what's going on. Will this eventually turn into a disaster anytime soon? Mount Merapi, Indonesia We already mentioned Indonesia has been suffering from volcanic activity in the Anak Krakatau zone, but something even worse is happening at Mount Merapi, about 450 miles or 720 kilometers northwest of Anak Krakatau. Mount Merapi, standing tall in Indonesia, has been making its presence felt with a series of eruptions that caught everyone's attention. Here's a closer look at what's been happening. Indonesia is no stranger to volcanoes, boasting a whopping 120 active ones. This archipelago, sitting along the Pacific Ring of Fire, regularly experiences the Earth's inner forces bubbling to the surface. Among these, Mount Merapi has emerged as a significant player in recent times. In the span of just one month, Mount Merapi decided to make headlines by erupting not once, but twice. The first eruption rumbled through the region in December of 2023, sending shockwaves through the communities residing nearby. Authorities announced that, on that occasion, at least 23 people are believed to have lost their lives. Rescuers have recovered the final body of numerous climbers who were unexpectedly caught in the rain of ash. Barely catching their breath, locals faced a deja vu in January of 2024 when the volcano erupted again. 
These back-to-back -back eruptions set off alarm bells and authorities swiftly initiated evacuations to ensure the safety of those in harm's way. As the calendar flipped to 2024, the region surrounding Mount Merope remains on edge. The unsettling reality of two eruptions within such a short time frame has left communities wary of what might come next. While the immediate threat prompted evacuations, the lingering potential for more eruptions has kept everyone on high alert. Mount Merope's recent activities underscore the need for ongoing vigilance. The volcano's temperament is unpredictable, and experts are closely monitoring its every move. The unpredictability of volcanic behavior necessitates continuous observation to ensure timely responses to any emerging threats. Mount Edgecombe, Alaska Returning to Alaska, we arrive at the second spot featuring Mount Edgecombe on Kruzoff Island. Recent investigations into magma movement, seismic activity, and ground deformation has sparked concerns about heightened volcanic activity. While it doesn't currently pose an immediate threat to Sitka, the reclassification of Mount Edgecombe from dormant to active necessitates meticulous monitoring. Alaska's rugged terrain proudly hosts a diverse collection of volcanoes, and Mount Edgecombe takes the spotlight on Krusoff Island. Recent studies, however, have uncovered signs indicating a shift from its dormant state. Scientists and experts are closely scrutinizing Mount Edgecombe, keeping a vigilant eye on various indicators of volcanic activity. Reports highlight significant movements in magma, an increase in seismic events, and observable ground deformation around the volcano. These signs collectively signal heightened activity within the volcanic system. The noteworthy change in Mount Edgecombe's behavior has resulted in its reclassification from a dormant to an active volcano. Adding to the significance of providing early warnings for Sitka, the introduction of new instruments also opens up research opportunities. While Alaska's active volcanoes are typically located west of Anchorage in a subduction zone, Mount Edgecombe, now the easternmost monitored volcano in Alaska, sits near a transform fault where tectonic plates slide past one another. Transform faults, like this one, are less understood compared to subduction zones. Evidence from a 2010 research paper highlighted an ash eruption around 1,150 years ago, leaving deposits in Sitka Sound. A similar eruption could pose a substantial risk to local population centers, as noted by the authors. Following a series of small earthquakes in 2022 that drew attention to the volcano, experts reviewed satellite radar measurements dating back to 2024 and concluded that the ground near the mountain was bulging outward at a rate faster than observed at any other volcano in Alaska. Fortunately, the growth has since slowed. Long Valley Caldera, California In California, there's a place called the Long Valley Caldera, which is a large hole in the ground formed by a massive eruption around 760,000 years ago. This eruption spewed a lot of hot ash, covering parts of California and even reaching as far as Nebraska. If something like that had to happen again, thousands of lives would be in danger. Over the past 40 years, scientists have noticed changes in the ground and more earthquakes in this area. While these signs can sometimes indicate an upcoming eruption, in this case, scientists believe it's not likely to happen soon. The magma under the ground is cooling down, which is generally a calming process. The recent geological activity raised questions for scientists. Was there enough magma underground to cause a big eruption, or was there another explanation for the earthquakes and ground movements? According to Caltech scientists, it seems the cooling magma is releasing gas and liquid, causing earthquakes and small eruptions. However, they don't think a massive eruption is on the horizon. But even though a supervolcanic eruption might be unlikely, there are still risks. Volcanic ash, if wet, can disrupt electricity lines and make roads slippery. It could also affect travel and contaminate water supplies. While California hasn't experienced a major volcanic eruption for over a century, it's crucial to be aware of the potential risks associated with volcanic activity. The last significant eruption occurred at Lassen Peak between 1914 and 1917, creating a mushroom cloud that reached 30,000 feet high. Despite the destruction, no lives were lost. That's all for this video. What would you like us to cover next? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for our next videos. We'll see you soon on the channel.